This video will demonstrate the most common and effective way to apply lime or calcimet LKD to your job site. Most commonly, lime and calcimet LKD are transported to the job site in a pneumatic tanker. However, depending on the job site needs, a bulk dump truck or flatbed loaded with super sacks can be used. Once the material arrives to the job site, the material is transferred out of the pneumatic tanker into a site spreader truck through a large hose. After the material has been transferred, the spreader truck will apply the material to the wet, unstable, or problematic soil. Dose rates are dependent on soil conditions and geotechnical requirements. A reclaimer, also known as a soil mixer or pulverizer, then mixes the calcium reagent into the soil to initiate a chemical reaction. Additional water may be needed if the soil's water content is near or below optimum. The addition of calcium-based reagents to problematic soils provide many benefits. As the calcium-based reagent is hydrated, a strong exothermic reaction occurs, driving off moisture within the soil. This also raises the pH of the soil, which provides stabilization with both short and long-term strength gains. Additionally, calcium ions released will modify the soil by reducing its plasticity, significantly reducing its shrink-swell potential. Depending on the site conditions, mixing method, and materials used, a mellowing period may be necessary to ensure the material has fully hydrated prior to compaction. Mellowing periods vary based on site conditions and averages around four hours. During this time, crews can be working on other areas of the job site. Once the reagent is fully hydrated, the soil can then be compacted, which is typically done by either a drum or pad foot roller. Once compacted, you will have engineered subgrade that will provide the strength and stability to extend the life of your pavement structure. Save time and money on your next job site. Contact Mintech today to learn more.